The recording was made at a specially arranged sitting of Hannon Swaffer's home circle in the very room where Silver Birch has communicated through his trance medium over many years. Silver Birch begins with an invocation, then gives a typical example of the teachings which have made him world famous. He then applies his wisdom to answering questions of vital interest to spiritualists and others who seek knowledge of life here and hereafter. He concludes with a benediction. Here is Silver Birch to speak to you now. <coughs> May the power of the great white spirit bless you all. <coughs> Let us follow our usual procedure and put on one side any thought of trouble, difficulty, fear, or anxiety. Let us try to achieve the closest possible harmony with one another so that we become one in our desire to aspire to the highest that we can reach. And none and nothing can be higher than the great white spirit, the infinite poor of divine love and wisdom which is responsible for the boundless universe in which we live and whose intelligence has devised and sustains all the natural laws that control and regulate every facet of being, whether mighty or minute, complex or simple, all operate according to inexorable laws that know no possible exception. We pay tribute to this supreme poor which has revealed some of its wondrous truths that have extended the boundaries of our minds and given us a greater comprehension of who and what we are and a clearer picture of the supreme power that broodeth through all and reigneth over all. And in this wondrous scheme nothing and nobody can be overlooked, forgotten and or neglected care has been taken to sustain and provide every facet of being no matter where it may be. We recognize too that we have behind us all the time the mighty hosts of liberated beings whose one desire is to serve us so that we in turn may serve others less fortunate than we are. Because we have been helped and comforted and guided 
Let us always resolve that we may unfold whatever gifts have been bestowed on us so that we can give solace to the bereaved, healing to the sick, guidance to the perplexed, strength to the weary, direction to all those who have lost their way and provide the radiant illumination of truth in the darkness that engulfs them. This is the prayer of the Indian servant who seeks always to serve. <clears throat> I am very happy to come amongst you and to bring my love and greeting from the world of spirit. I am aware of the special purpose of our gathering tonight. And so I thought it might be helpful if I would try to explain to those who will hear these words the purpose behind my mission and those of my colleagues who are animated by the same desire. To the uninitiated, I would say, I am a human being like yourselves. I have lived much longer than any of you who are listening to what I say. And as a result, of my experiences in realms far beyond your earth. I have gained some knowledge of the great spirit that you call good uh, and of the natural laws which have been devised to ensure that the will of the Great Spirit will and must ultimately prevail. What I have learned as a result of my experiences, I am willing to share with those who are ready to receive them because I think they may be of helpfulness to them. 